Welcome back to our Tango project. I've got the book out right here. And uh, in the first video, it got cut off at the end. So I'm gonna just tell you real quick where I put the magnets and then we'll work on page two. Page two is very easy. So uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna first tell you where the magnets go. So this is how I decorated page one. And on this large flap here, I just have one magnet right in the middle, which lands on this top flap. Uh, so I'm gonna show you real quick, but I will show you in page two how to put the magnets down if you've never done that before. Basically, you put your magnet here and you tape it down so it cannot fall off. You put your opposite end, which now magnetizes to here. You peel this sticky off. If you order the kind of magnets in bulk that aren't pre-glued, um, you can put a piece of score tape there. Peel off the tape and fold it over. It's gonna land right there. So then you tape it down. And then this flap has a magnet in the middle and it's gonna land on this bottom flap. And this flap has a magnet in the middle, which lands on top of this flap. And this one does not have a magnet, doesn't really need it. So that holds it down, that holds it down, and then this one goes over top. Okay, so now we're going to work on page two. And I will show you what you need to cut for that. So there's just three flaps. Um, your A piece is seven and three quarters by four and three quarters. B is seven and three quarters by five and a half. C is our pocket and that is eight and three quarters by four and a quarter. All right, so now we're going to score those. And I've got my second page labeled up here too so that I know I'm facing the right direction when I go to put my flaps down. All right, so flap A, we're gonna score a half an inch with the short side facing the top. And if you're using the American Crafts 80 pound with the linen side, the linen side is face down and the flat side's face up. B, the short side is facing the top. C, our pocket. We always start with whatever side is gonna be open at the top. So that's our long side. Got my flat side here. And I turn it to the right. All these are half an inch. Turn this to the right. Okay. Now let's put our tape on here. I am using 3 8 inch score tape. And this is now the linen side, which is has the bumpy side. And I'm gonna put my score tape just below that score line. You don't wanna cover the score line because you want this paper to bend. Let's do that on the pocket. I've just started cutting the corners a different way, so hold on before you cut your corners. This one I already did. All right. So let's take our uh, bone folder here, press everything down. Okay, let's start with this pocket. What I wanna do is I am just gonna cut my corners um, where I go up to the intersect where these two score lines meet, stop, turn myself out to the right a little bit and then continue on. So now I have like a little mouthpiece, a little Pac-Man mouthpiece. 
and I will do that again over here. Okay, let's clean up. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold all my, my flaps here. Okay, so now I have my page two here, and the first piece I'm gonna lay down is flap A, which is at the bottom. So let's take off this score tape. And I'm gonna go right to the bottom with my thumbs here guiding me to the bottom and I have a little bit of space to the left and right. Okay, there we go. Then I'll fold this down. And for the pocket, I'm just taking off this bottom piece for right now. Stick that over and stick that over. So now I have more control over the pocket. I'm not just fussing around with sticky on here. And the other thing that it does is when I go to put my design paper here, I can just lift up this flap a little and put the design paper underneath. So I am gonna put this right in the middle. Uh, I've got a little bit of space on each side and I am just going I'm not gonna go right on top of this score line here. I just have to go a little bit above it so that it can fold over the pocket. So let me line this up. And right here, it's, I've, I can see my score line still. So that allows me to fold this over. Okay, and see how this is lifted up a little? When I go to put the design paper I can go to about here maybe one inch down then peel off these sides and stick the pocket down and so it looks like my my paper goes all the way down okay so let's do the top flap now that's gonna land let's just dry fit it for now real quick that is going to land There'll be a little bit of space here. I'm gonna make sure, yes. Now you can have as much or as little space as you want. I, I chose to have a little bit of space here because I wanted to see through a little bit. If that's too, it looks like it's about a quarter of an inch. If it's too much for you, you can always make this bottom flap a little longer um, instead of, um, Instead of four and three quarters, you could make it um, like a couple lines over or even five inches. But I kind of want this to show a little bit. And then here we go. I'm gonna put something heavy on here just to, so I can see where it lands. And I want this top flap to line up with the bottom. So I have a little bit of space on both sides and I'm gonna bring myself right to the top of the paper. And there I have, we'll show you with a little white piece underneath. I have about that much space. If that's too much for you and you like it a little closer, just make this pocket a little bigger or this flap a little bigger. Okay, so magnet placement for this. Okay. Now, um, there's a couple choices. You could either put one magnet in the middle or two on both sides. And what I'm going to do is put one in the middle on this bottom. And I can always change it if the paper doesn't lay flat the way I want it to. 
So I'm going to put this. This one I've got to be careful. I want it to land on the pocket, not in the in between. So I have to put it pretty far down. So go about an inch down. And let me just, before I tape it down, I'm just gonna fold this over and see where it lands. And it lands right about here on the pocket. So that is good. Now let me grab a piece of tape. down. Let's put our other magnet here. And don't forget this pocket will lay down once we put our design paper behind and take off this tape right there. It'll lay flat like that and that'll go right there. All right, so this top flap, I'm gonna put one on each side because I'm going to have things in my pocket here. So if you're gonna put one in the middle, you might wanna put one of the big ones like this. Uh, it's just got more, more magnetism, it's stronger so that it can go through whatever you're putting in your pocket. You can do that or you can take two smaller ones and put them on the sides. done here I will show you which design paper I chose and then we can tape these and that is it for page two so let me show you how I decorated that This paper is so beautiful. So I chose to have my guitar on page two. And the way I measure this um, is I take my solid piece and just lay it right here. I don't want to cut off my tango word. So I just place it down and put a pencil mark right where I need to cut it here, you know, and uh, down at the bottom. So I do that. And it, this little space is kind of... I like the way it looked because you've got that space in your guitar. So that's what I was thinking there. Um, but again, if you don't like it, you can make these closer together. But I just, I love the way that looks. So you open it up and on the inside I have my music sheets with roses on here. And, and then once you lay this down, you can take off your tape here. And in the pocket, I just made this little photo book and I can put more design paper in here. I'll probably put some red in there. But this was a leftover piece. And here we have another one. And you can decorate those however you want. And then I have another little booklet with the rose on it. And those go in the pocket. So there we are. And next video, we're on to page three.